Okay, the first thing we're going to do is make a light blue for our sky. And when you make a light color, you have to put a very little bit of the dark color into your mixing section and then a lot of the light color. So I'm going to make mine a light blue for the sky, which is a lot of white and a very little bit of the dark blue. And I'm gonna cover most of the canvas. So about two thirds of the canvas down, I'm gonna paint that whole thing in the light blue. So if you need to mix more paint while you're painting, if you have a look here, I'm mixing paint all the time, which means I'm getting different colors of blue in my sky. And I'm gonna use that to paint all the way across. When you get these different colors, it just lends a little bit of character to your sky. Like this. So I've got some light and some dark patches in the sky, which is as it should be. If you prefer something that's flat, then make a lot of blue and cover the whole section with that same color blue. I'm going to paint the bottom of the canvas in this green. It's quite a dark green. So the whole of the bottom of the canvas I'm going to paint in this dark green. Like that. We moved through this one fairly quickly. And then I'm gonna wash my brush off when I've got to there because I want to mix the light blue and the, and the green to blend these two while it's still wet. All right, to blend these two when you're ready. I'm going to take a little bit of the green, mix it in with a little bit of this light blue that I have here, a little bit more green. So I've got a mix there of the light blue and the green. And I'm gonna join these two colors across with that light blue and green, like that. And then move my brush up into the light blue and what happens is it blends those two colors together. So while it's wet is when you have to work. And when you, how you make it smooth is you just keep going over it until you're happy with how smooth it is. So you just keep using that same big motion going across. All right. The grass, we're going to use this round brush. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some of that green to my brush. And grass goes every way. It doesn't go one way. Let me show you now. So I'm going to go from the bottom of the canvas and I'm going to use the full length of the brush like that and lift it up as I go up to the top there. A lot of water. Do a few of those grass strokes. You can start from the top if yours is too dry like mine. And then you get a thin tip at the top and you push your brush down to bring it down. It's got a bit more control if you do it that way. Now my grass is not going to go in the same direction. So I'm going to make a lot of these strokes Going like that. I need more water on mine. You'll find that if you're using, this is a lot more of a watercolor effect. Because my, my brush is too dry getting on the top here. There we go. That's a little bit better. Do a few more of them. A 
And now also, my grass is going in all different directions. We go right from the bottom of the canvas. We want to carry, cover the whole of the bottom of the canvas with our leaves, grass leaves. Try not to make it all the same length because we're going to put some dragonflies in here. So make your grass a little bit higher on the side, on the outside edges. There we go. I've got some thick and I've got some thin. Don't do too many because we're going to put other colors in there now. So you see some of mine are tall and some are short and they're kind of going in different directions. And that was with plain green and now I'm going to add some blue to my green. So it gives me a slightly darker green. And I'm going to make some more of those grass strokes with that slightly different color. Experiment with your brush and see which one works best for you, whether it works best going up or whether it works best coming down. But don't forget, you've got to fill all the way to the bottom of the canvas with your brush stroke. Okay, I've added a few blue ones. I'm going to put a little bit of black in there now. So I've got a slightly different darker green. You can see there. It's quite a dark green. And I'm going to put some of those dark green strokes in. All of this grass now we're just going to be building up in different colors. Got some blue and I've got some dark green. Got a few black and you can see the more strokes you, you start put on in the different colors, the thicker your grass starts to look. I'm now going to add some yellow to that green. And I'm going to make a lime green, mid color green there. So I've got some dark grass on there now. I want some lighter grass coming in the front. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom of the canvas for this now. You can make your light grass. Some of it come from halfway and some come right from the bottom. And I'm pressing down fairly hard with my brush so that I can get a nice big thick blade of grass. Can you see how nicely this is starting to fill up down the bottom? And I'm just putting them on top of the other blades of grass because it's now looking nice and thick. You can have some thinner ones. You can see some are thin, some are thick. So you can have a thin one coming down from here. Maybe a thin one there. Play with your grass. But the trick with grass is that it all doesn't go the same direction. It goes in different directions. You can also have some grass. If you like this look, you can have some grass that comes up and flicks down. Like a bit of bent grass blade, like that. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. So I've taken some white and added it into that light green. So I'm going lighter all the time and I'm starting to build up the grass in the front here. So let me put a few stalks of that lovely light green grass. Look at that. One or two, and it makes a huge difference. Okay. 
and I've used big strokes, as you can see. So if you use the big strokes, you can see there's one or two lighter, lighter strokes there. But if you use a nice big hard stroke, you get a broad grass leaf all the way up. These are not types of um, grass that you can do little dabs. Be bold with your strokes. And that's a very thick grass patch for me. Okay. And what I've done is I've covered over this blend here, so I can't quite see the blend. It's gone into the background. Mia, but I'm going to wait for this to dry before we put the cornflowers. Okay, if you're ready to do some flowers, because if you fuss too much on your grass, you'll lose the, the effect. So as long as you've got your grass that kind of covers all of the space, let's do some flowers. Same brush. I've washed the brush off, so it's nice and clean. And I'm going to use only blue. I'm going to put some blue on the tip of my brush, like that, so I've got a little bit of a point. Not a lot of paint, a little bit of paint. With the tip of the brush, we, can, we want to make a, 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 low, a shallow cup of flower, leaf, flower petals. So with the tip of the brush, I'd say, just touch the canvas lightly, bring it down and press it down till you get a big thick bottom, but it's thin at the top. And that's your petal. I'm gonna do another one. Like that, bring it back to the middle each time. And I want a flower that looks like that. So it's using the shape of the brush to make the flower petals all come to the middle. My flowers are all different shapes as well. So I'm going to do one there and I think I'm gonna do one around here. I'm gonna make it more of a, an upright flower. Petals like that. So learn how your brush works. If it works better moving it up, do that. But these petals aren't too sharp. So if they round at the top, that's all good. Like that. I'm going to make an open flower over here, a nice big open flower here. And that means if I have a center point there, if you put a dot in the center point, bring your petals down to that point in a star. So you just go round like this and bring your petals in to the middle. You can do some smaller ones in between. We're going to add a little bit of purple to this just now, so it make, it'll make these a little bit darker to bring up our shadow and our light. And you can see it's not a perfect thing, so the petals aren't absolutely perfect. These ones are being blown in the wind, so I've got some spaces. Wherever you see that there's an area that you can paint your flower, it's your picture, you're choosing where you put your flowers. I'm going to do one of those nice big open ones, big star shape here on top of my grass. My grass is dry. Maybe I'll do a little cup one here. So I'm leaving some space around. There's a little cup one there. And I'm going to use a smaller brush to make some little flowers. And then I'm gonna do some little cornflowers. I've got a few spaces that I think that my cornflowers would look good in. So I'm going to do maybe a little one here, just a little one. I've made it look like that, but I've made a little one. So this is a little bud coming up. Just a little one there. 
Let's put another little one here. You choose where you put yours. I'm leaving a space here for my dragonfly. So in the middle, I'm going to have my dragonfly. And let's put a few small ones here. I think I want another small one, say about there. My small ones aren't, aren't all the same size. They're just smaller than these bigger ones. Maybe I'll put another little one here. And when you've done the blue flower, we're now going to add a little bit of shadow to it by adding either a little bit of purple to your blue. Makes a slightly darker color. And then test it. See if it adds that nice rich blue to the bottom of my flower there. A little bit of shadow across the bottom of my flower. And I'm doing the same thing as I did with the petals. When I did the petals with the lighter blue, or the, the, that blue, the rich blue, I'm following the same line with my purple, just only halfway. So it's just, a, and not all the petals, just a few of them. I'll show you here. Just so there's a little bit of different color in there. Can you see that one a bit closer? That one that's shining. That one there. Just a little bit of purple in the middle. Maybe a touch across these ones. That's the shadow. And now do you remember that light blue color that we made for the sky? I want you to use that light blue color and add a few highlights into your flowers. So if you use that light blue color again, you can just add a few, just one or two touches of light blue to your flowers. Not a lot. A little goes a long way. There we go. So you add a little bit of that light blue to your flower. Just adds a few highlights there. Let's put some on this one here. A few little highlights there. And as I said, don't do too much, because very little is enough. I'm not even going to do it on all the flowers, just on some of them. And that's my corn flowers done. We'll wait for these to dry before we put these little yellow centers in them. Okay, when you're happy with the flowers, and don't do too much, you can always go and add some more later. So if you're happy with the flowers, leave them. Mir, I'm sure your flowers look lovely. I'm going to put, a, take my thinnest brush, thin brush, and I'm going to put some light green on that brush. And I'm now going to give my flowers a stem because they're in the middle of nowhere here. So I think I'm going to bring this stem down this way. With a thin brush. Let's put a stem on this one here. Make that a little bit darker so I can see that. Just a thin stem. And the reason I've gone light is because if you make it too thick, you can always just put a little bit of a darker stem on top of that. A thin line of darker stem on top like that. It gives a bit of a highlight and a shadow to that stem. You don't have to connect them all either. 
It's enough that they're there so that your imagination can take place from there. There's a few. If you want to do some leaves, if you think there's some space, the leaf for this flower is very easy. You'll use this, you'll use this big brush, big round brush with the point and put a little bit of the light, lighter green on that, just a little bit. And use that brush's shape to give yourself a leaf. So you just press that down on the canvas like that and you've got a leaf. You can do that on this side. Just a bit of a leaf. My leaf is going to do a little bit of a curve. Go a little bit darker. Do a little bit of a curve like that. But I'm using the shape of the brush to give me a leaf. Do one or two here. Maybe one there. Let's make a lighter one so that you can see it in the front here. Like so. Another one there. The darker green to the bottom of that leaf for a bit of a shadow. Tiny bit of dark green on the bottom of the leaf. To give me a bit of shadow. So can you see that? So if I've used that light color, a little bit of dark color on the bottom gives you two sides of a leaf. Let's paint a dragonfly, how that? Okay, I'm going to use my purple, a little bit of purple, mix it there and a lot of white to get a very lilac color. A little bit of purple goes a long way. Okay. My dragonfly is going to face that way, which means I need a round circle here, not too big, like that. Can you see that circle? I'm going to paint mine a little bit darker so that you can see it. Let's just do it a little bit darker. You see that circle? Dragonfly's body means we're going to make it a lot of circles but getting smaller. So I'm going to put a circle next to that circle, which is a little bit smaller. And then another one, which is a little bit smaller. And then another one. So as I come down, I'm getting smaller and smaller. Let's make another one here. And then another small one there. I'm going to do two dragonflies. Let me do another one here. This one's got a little bit of a curve to his body, so let's put a smaller circle there, one there, one there, and there. He's got a curve. So it goes down to a small circle at the end. Now if your dragonfly is a mid-color purple, we're going to do light and shadow like we did with the flowers. And across the bottom of each of these circle bits of the dragonfly, you're going to put a little bit of darker purple. So let me just take some dark purple. I'm putting a blob of dark purple on the bottom of each of the circles. A blob there, blob there, there, there. So it's a dark blob across the bottom of the um, body segments and then a lighter one on the top. 
just a little blob. So let me just take a little bit of white, plain white or light, light purple. Put a little bit of blob on the top of each of those circles. How about? How about? So if you look closely, can you see that? Okay, shall we do some dragonfly wings? About the second circle is where we're going to start the dragonfly wing. So from the second circle, just between the second and the third circle, let's draw an upside down smile. Can you see that? Okay, that's a bit light. So let me just paint that like so. And then I'm going to join it across the bottom with a proper smile. So I've made a kind of a leaf shape. Do that on either side, in between the second and the third circle. You do top, bottom, and then paint in the middle. Now mine's a bit dark, you can do yours a pale lavender, because these are gossamer wings. So you can do your pale wings there. And I'm going to do the same for this dragonfly here. Do a little leaf shape coming out of that second spot, just between its second and third circle. There we go, pale lavender. The next wings, because they've got two sets of wings, they come from exactly the same spot. So the start of the wing, it's a little bit darker than the one that you've already put in. And it comes from exactly the same spot, but you're just going to move it down a little bit so it goes at a different angle, like that. Let me do another dark one on this side so that you can see. So it still comes from the same spot in between those two circles. And it's a leaf shape, so they start from the same spot, but it's at a slightly different angle. Got one there, and one there. And then I'm going to give my dragonfly little feelers. So that means I'm washing that brush off. It's the thinnest brush. And I'm going to add a few little feelers coming from the top of his head. Very thin. Like that. On either side of his head. Because we've got this nice light and shadow on the body of this of our dragonflies, I'm going to put a, a light white stroke across the top of each of the wings. You see? And that just highlights the top of each of those wings. And it's white. Don't know if you can see that, okay. My two dragonflies are done. Okay, the last thing I want to do is add the yellow to the middle of my flowers. So I'm going to do that quickly. Add a little bit of yellow and white together. Like this. And put that in the middle of these flowers, these big flowers that are open. Maybe I'll put a little one there. So I've only got two big open flowers. If you've got more, put a yellow spot in the middle of each of those. My picture's done. 